Hello everybody, we're uh, about to jump into a different grind today to switch it up since a lot of you voted on the poll and wanted to see a more normal grind. So that's what we're gonna do. More normal grind today. Hopefully you guys will enjoy it just as much. Sari, thank you so much for the membership renewal. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Hope you're doing great. Okay, so today we're setting up for feral pigs. Because I still don't have a diamond feral pig. Which means, I believe we need to go to like... What, three or five or four or something? And, uh, Sari, thank you for it once again. I see... Oh, you're doing the, uh, the message thing. Gotcha. Gotcha. Thank you so much for the membership once again. Really appreciate it. I think we'll do like four? Avelina grind after this? Maybe. I mean, we're still doing our moose grind, so... I don't know if I'll bring in Javelina quite yet. But... We might get to them at some point. So we're gonna need to recover all of our tents. There is a lot of tents. There is a lot of, uh... Stands and stuff. That we are going to need to recover. All right, so let's figure out what guns we're gonna use for the pigs. I mean, 308's pretty much a no-brainer there. 308 for the win when it comes to feral pigs. 308, and then of course the Firent. What else? We don't really need the 300 here. I guess the handgun will go with the, the 243 handgun. Hey, Caitlin. How's it going? Hey, Ben. Hey, Tragic. How's everybody doing? Hope you're all doing great. Uh, let's get Hyperion just in case we need it. And I believe that's really it. Now it's just a matter of picking up all these tents and picking up all our stands because uh, since they moved our red deer around, not really doing us much good regardless. Glad you like it, Christy. How is everybody doing? We're getting super close to Christmas. I hope you guys are ready for that. We're going to be doing, as always, a Christmas stream as well as a Christmas Eve stream. Oh, should not have grabbed that yet. Hold up, right? Ho hold on one second. I have made a grave mistake. We need to pick up the stands first. There we go. Yeah, Drum, we are super close. Very, very close. Max weight, max square albino diamond pig. Here we go. I hope so. Could you imagine that? That'd be insane. Hey, I do my best, Bart. I do my best. It's in one hour and 45 minutes. That's crazy, Burger. Hey, that's time zones for you, man. Time zones do wild things. We got one more stand to grab. Gosh, it feels so weird removing my entire Red Deer setup, but... Since they moved all the herds around, it really would have had to happen regardless. Um, uh, maybe one of these days faded. Blacktail are very tough to grind, so... I don't know if I would do it anytime before we get something like a Blacktail Great one. I hope we eventually get one, because that's the only thing that would really make me grind them. Like, I'll hunt Blacktail in multiplayer, but I won't actually start a grind on them, because they move more than Moose. Which is saying something, because moose move a lot. You know, thankfully, the lovely beavers of Tiawaroa have removed a lot of my stands, so, uh... <laughs> at least I don't have to worry about that. However, the tents... That is a whole other story. Gosh, what has happened here? Hey, this tent got absolutely borked. There we go. All parts of your previous sentence except the albino part. Wait, what? I'm so confused. 
I am so confused what that means, Caitlin. Oh, I get what you meant. Never mind. Never mind. Took took Crow a second to process. All right. I got it. Beavers hate tree stands. They do. They do. They're very against them. They've got an anti-tree stand movement that they are consistently pushing. Silly beavers. Silly, silly beavers. Tree stands are useful. Hey, CJO. How's it going, man? I cannot believe that you deleted your great one. I, I cannot believe you did that. Casey was telling me about that, and oh my gosh, I cannot believe that you did that, man. That's crazy. I could never. I could I could never do that. Ah, I just stand there, but I think we'll leave it. Yeah, I kind of figured, CJO. I kind of figured. That's crazy, though. Nice, Raylan. Hey, Kathy, how's it going? Time to go grab these uh, two stands down here. Negative four. Oh, gosh, Caitlin. No, thanks. It's cold here, but not quite negative four. It's going good, CJO. It's going good. Just been uh, kind of relaxing the last few days, trying to get over the uh, stomach bug that I had. But we're all back to 100% now. Or like 95%, still a little bit plugged up, but part of that's allergies. Um, I'd be okay with that Schrader if it fits. Best map for Whitetail, great one. That's going to be either Leighton or Rev. They're both really good, but it's all up to which one you like more. Yes, yeah, sounds about right, CJO. That's what I've been hearing is that a lot of people got the flus. They got the flus. Couple stands down there. To be honest, we probably don't need to grab every stand, just the majority. I know feral pigs love that area, so. They moved them around though, didn't they? I think they got moved around quite a bit, so. Who knows? We might have to search completely new areas for these feral pigs. I'm going to start doing a quick scan everywhere just to see if there's any uh, feral pigs along these areas that we're at. Uh, no stands to grab, so I think we're good. So just grab that tent. And then we will need to go... We still have all the tents in these areas. To be honest, though, I can leave those for now, I think. Yeah, I think for now we can leave these. We'll collect them as we discover feral pig zones. So, from what I remember, I think the feral pigs were moved around a bit. I believe they're very heavily in this area now. Same with, like, um, I've, I've seen their tracks through here, but I don't know if they actually go there. I know the river will have them. I imagine that the coast probably has them. Probably the same with, like, this entire coast and bay area. Let's, uh, let's start with good old Bay of Rest. Yeah, Hunter, it's definitely worth buying. Rohonga Savannah is amazing. One of the best maps they've made. I'd say most can agree that Verhonga is a top five map. No matter who you ask, pretty much everybody will put Verhonga top five. Now the question is, are feral pigs going to be late to their zones? Just like the... Uh, 
The moose are? Well, we have to reset our time a little bit to figure out where they are. Yep, exactly, Bart. Exactly. Bubbles knows. He knows. There's our first feral pig zone. All right, let's get our guns equipped. That's a male, and so is that one. Uh, we'll take this one, I guess, since it's actually giving us a shot. Oh, he just bolted immediately. We could probably recover a shot on him. You know what? Oh, he turned. Why would you do that? That's just rude. What the? <laughs> it did the same bug that that bobcat did in one of the uh, the inner series videos. That is hilarious. Uh, yeah. If you want, uh, if you want to send me one, Caitlin, then go for it. Oh, and thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Much appreciated. Hope you're doing great. I grow love the work. Keep it up. Thank you, dude. I will do my best to keep it up. Just as uh, much as I always have. Thank you so much. Yeah, me too, Key, and I hate it as well. I hope they make some changes to it, but it is what it is, I guess. Yeah, that's two tree stands over there, so I'm not going to worry about those. What's my favorite albino animal? I would say the sea deer. The Seekadir albinos are very beautiful. We honestly might do some grinds for uh, albino Seeka in the future. Because I've got two of them, but they're, they're both level twos, so it's like... It's almost as if I don't even have a buck, right? Because they're such small males. Have an eight mythical coyote. Nice. More nice. Have a super rare albino feral pig. That is crazy, Charles. Jealous of that for sure. <laughs> yes, it's, oh my God. Sorry, thank you so much for the super chat. Much appreciated. Lake under this area has a drink zone on the west side. Alright, I'll be sure to check that one. I will be sure to check it out. Thank you so much once again. And CJO, thank you for the super chat as well, dude. Have a drink on me over the holidays, brother? Of course, dude. Of course. Hope you've been doing well, man. Hope everything goes good for you. Hope you have a good, uh, a good Christmas and everything. If you celebrate Christmas. Thank you so much. Uh, not sure, Tragic. They, they don't really talk about that. And Nox, thank you for the five months, dude. Yeah, Drawn, that's because all the gifted memberships expired. Uh, because I still don't have a diamond of them, Andrew. We don't have a diamond feral pig, and we don't have a rare feral pig either. It's two things that I've always ha wanted to get that have always eluded me. I've had six or seven troll feral pigs and never got a diamond, so figured it was about time we tried to get a diamond. What the seek a deer? 
What are you doing right there? You're not spooking or anything. Silly little Sika. What's he doing there? He's hanging out. We're not hunting moose right now, so it's not on the bottom, Jackson. I clear up the uh, lay the like layout a little bit when I'm doing non-grinding streams, or I guess when I'm doing non-great one streams. I would take away the top one too, but I want to be able to see like the member count and the recent super chat, recent member stuff like that. I mean, I guess I could hide individual ones, but it's just kind of annoying. Like, if I want to hide individual ones, I got to go through each specific one and click the hide. And it's just like tedious and annoying. But I guess that kind of works. Yeah, yeah, that kind of works. Okay. We'll, we'll go with this for now. It looks a little bit more, I guess, even. Kind of. That's crazy, CJO. I got a couple in early access back uh, when Tiawaro was in early access and never got one on the live game. It has always been one that has eluded me like crazy. For some unknown reason. The feral pigs just don't like me. Confirmed. Feral pigs don't like Scarecrow. You guys heard it here first. Now let's loop all the way around. Ah, uh, it's pretty rare unknown gaming. What maps are those in the top right in the left corner? What do you mean? Oh, these right here. Whenever you spawn into the reserve, it like has you out of it until it figures out where you are, so it makes those little dots out there. Oh, we got mallards. What's my Twitch? I don't really stream on Twitch anymore, uh, Nikai. Oh, I hope not tragic. I know they don't uh, do that much. They don't troll that much, at least, from what I remember. I don't think we'll have a feral goat moment, but uh, I could definitely see a couple trolling before we get a diamond. Thank you, more. Unlimited Outdoors, thank you for becoming a member, dude. Really appreciate it. Hope you enjoy all the perks that come with that. The emos, the extra Discord channels, the extra uploads. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Hey, TTK, or er, hey, TTK, how's it going? And Clay Drew, how's it going, man? And I, I'm almost positive I forgot to say hi to Johnny when he jumped in here. So hello, Johnny. I know I've already responded to a few of your messages, but I feel like I forgot to say hi. Nice, Firefly. That's awesome. Best way to make money? Uh, to kill Red Deer. Killing Red Deer on Tiawaroa. It's so, so good for money. You know, that actually reminds me of a comment I saw a couple days ago. Somebody actually commented on one of my beginner series videos and was like, I think he hacks the money in in between episodes. And it's like, I literally showed at the beginning me slaughtering Red Deer for money. How stupid can you be? It's not that hard to make money off of Red Deer on Tiawaroa. Not to mention I showed the codex. I've been showing the codex at the end of every episode. I have like 327 kills on the beginner series now. And probably about 250 of those are Red Deer. Between 200 and 250. Like that's gotta be one of the like most like 
non-cheat looking things that I've ever done on the channel and somebody had to mention that they're like yeah I, I, I don't think he shoots red deer I, sh I think he cheats the money in it's like I've got 23 great ones but you're you're talking about the the fact that I get 60,000 credits for a video on a beginner series Just seemed like a really weird thing to pick out. Alright guys, so, how many pigs are typically along this coast? Because I'm not familiar with the new layout for the pigs. <laughs> I know right, Tragic? I know right? <laughs> To be honest, I think it's probably just somebody who's not familiar with the channel and that was the first video they've seen. Maybe they're new to the game and don't understand how somebody could make uh, 60k off of Red Deer. I definitely think that's also a possibility. Uh, not 100% sure, Elite. Not sure. They haven't given us a, an official release date. I can tell you, though, when they release it, I will 100% be letting everybody know on the channel. And I'll also be starting up a grind for some rares in Way of the Hunter. There we go. That's a solo pig. Brian, thank you so much for becoming a member, dude. Really appreciate it. Enjoy the perks that come with that. The emotes, the extra Discord channels, and the extra uploads. Really appreciate it, my dude. Nice, tragic. Um, the mods explained it, John. They explained it. Level four there. We got three males in this area right here. Uh, we'll take the two largest ones out of every herd we find. That's the way I'm going to be doing our like non-herd management grinds is I'm going to be doing the two biggest out of every herd. How am I going to get that one? Um, what the? Oh my gosh, pigs are bugged like crazy. <laughs> They're doing the same thing that the Bobcat did in the beginner series. Kind of hilarious. Also kind of terrifying. You know what? I think this is actually a spot where we'll slap a tent down. Seems like a good little area for a tent. Raccoons do it too? Oh no. You hate to see it, man. Oh my gosh. There we go. Not sure, Tragic. I don't think they do it as much. Not gonna lie though, this is actually kind of a glitch that really is helpful. As long as you can get two shots off. You can kill them both easily. So it's an okay bug. What does herd management do? It essentially just like, uh, it makes it so a lot of your animals will score higher than normal because of the ones that you're killing and the ones that you're leaving. That's essentially like the quick rundown of it. When am I going to do another duck hunt? Not sure. I mean, we just did one today. We just did one for today's video, so I don't know when the next one will be. 
Briar, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing good. That is very generous of you. Actually, it's a super sticker, not a uh, super chat. But either way, much appreciated. Hope you're doing great. We're grinding for feral pigs, Raid. We're trying to get a diamond one and a melanist, or not melanistic, a uh, albino one. As I don't have either of those. Oh my gosh, why are you typing in cursive, Diamond Mule Deer? Stop your cursive typing, making my brain work. Gosh. And uh, read the poll. Go to the polls on the community tab, and you'll see why. Everybody voted for a non-HM grind. I was actually very shocked as well. 65% of people wanted to see a non-herd management grind. Which, that kind of blew my mind because we were always, uh, it always seemed like the majority of people loved watching the herd management. But most people wanted to go back to a regular grind. Briar, thank you for a super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Holy. That is crazy. You absolute legend. Thank you so much. Yeah, me too, Kathy. It surprised me. Yeah, me too, CGO. Like, it blew my mind. I was like, wow, really? I thought you guys loved watching the the diamonds everywhere and all the great ones getting smoked. But I, I guess everybody wants to see the old, the old days type of, uh, grinding. Briar, thank you for another super chat. Really appreciate it, dude. That's super generous of you. Yes, Carson, it'll work on everything. It's it's a system built into the game. That's a decently long shot. Thank you for bugging out. Much appreciated. That's got to be one of my favorite bugs now. It makes it so easy to just smoke these pigs, man. Like, as long as I hit them, we're good. <laughs> as long as I hit the pig, we're good. That's great. That, that is beautiful. You know what? Do another uh, little tent slap here. So I think the strategy for the pigs is literally just going to be shoot two as quick as I can. That way I can just shoot them while they're completely stationary. Kind of a terrible bug to have in the game, but you know... At least it's one that kind of benefits us. Shoot him with the 22. <laughs> it, it probably would work. Not going to lie. That'd probably freeze them in their spot. Or you could shoot them once with the 223. Because there's like no recoil on the 223 AR. Just... Boop, boop, and then take them down with the 308 for the second shot. Oh, of course I do, Rambo. Of course I love bacon. Uh, yeah, Caden, I would recommend reading those rules and roles, and that will tell you what to do. That's kind of why they're there. If you, if you would have read through everything, you'd know why you're not seeing the channels.
Yeah, it's one of those like personal preference type of things, Crusader. I enjoy both. I like the like uh, the strategizing side of herd management, as it does take a lot of like strategizing and planning to get it to work properly, or to get it to work in its most efficient ways. But then I also like these types of grinds as well because I'm just smoking everything. Um, I don't know, Nathan. I, I mean, I'd say, wait, I have no idea what you just said. No game, would I rather have unlimited bacon, but no games or games, unlimited games, but no game. I'm so confused right now, man. I don't know what I just read, but I read something. Yeah, I was gonna say, what happened to the bacon? Did it just disappear? Uh, Nicholas, thank you so much for the super chat. Dude, much appreciated. I have a challenge for you. If you can guess how old I am, I'll give you a prize. Hint them above 11, under 13. I mean, that's, it's not really a guessing game if you gave me the answer. Um. I'm going to say there's a two and a one involved or a one and a two final answer. Or maybe it's, maybe it's one, two point one, two. You never know. Lots of options actually, but thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. What kind of weapon do I use? I'm using the, uh, 308. Yeah, well, sounds about right. Uh, Briar, thank you so much for the super chat once again. Really appreciate it. Can you play with me someday? I try not to do one-on-one -on -one with anybody because if I do it with one person, then I'm going to have like a hundred other people asking me to do the same with them. And obviously I don't have the time to play with everybody. So I try just not to do one-on-one -on -one type of uh, gaming sessions. But I really appreciate the uh, super chat, dude. Oh, <laughs> yes, it's, oh my gosh. He doesn't even play with me. You're not wrong, Caitlin. I don't have the time. I don't have the time to play when there's so much Call of the Wild content to be made. What am I grinding for? Diamond Feral Pig. And an albino feral pig. Two things that I've never got that I really want. Alrighty, time to switch the time. Yes, Luke, I am indeed. Yeah, unfortunately, TDK, I can't play with Johnny. As much as I'd like to, I'm not able to because, you know, PC, Xbox, they kind of can't really uh, play together on most games. There's some games, but not a lot of them. Most of the time, you'd have to have Game Pass. I know, right, Bart? It's crazy, right? Oh, there we go. That's a nice four. Luckily, that's the one that bugged. This one didn't, though. 
Oh, he stopped though. I find that very interesting. He didn't bug, but the other one did. Makes me wonder what causes the bug. Is it the water? Do they have to be in the water? I think that might be it. I think it is dependent on them being in the water. Uh, Nicholas, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. I was talking to my grandma, but yes, you got it right. Here's your prize, another $5. Hope you enjoy it. Keep up the good work. Thank you, dude. I really appreciate that and hope you have a good Christmas. Uh, no, Mr. Brett, that's where you're wanting to be if you're doing herd management. If you're doing herd management, you want to have as few shootables as you can because the less you have, the more consistently those will respawn as diamonds. Hello, little Sika deer. Random turkeys as well. Right back at you, Call of the Dark. What are my thoughts on Arby's? Uh, good mozzarella sticks, everything else mediocre at best. The only thing I really enjoy at Arby's is their mozzarella sticks with the bronco berry sauce. That's pretty fire. But uh, as far as their like sandwiches and stuff, eh. Last time I had an Arby's roast beef sandwich, it was disgusting. It was, it just did not taste good at all. Same with their cheddar. I forgot what it's called, like cheddar something. One of their, like, cheddar sandwiches was disgusting as well. Could have been that I just went on a bad day, but still. Doesn't change the fact that every non-mozzarella stick related experience at Arby's has been mid at best. Their fries are alright. Haven't had their fries. I'm a big fan of uh, Dairy Queen's fries, though. Dairy Queen has some good fries. They have kind of like a carnival type of taste to them. You know, like the type of uh, fries that you would get at like a fair or a carnival or something like that. That's kind of what Dairy Queen's fries remind me of. Always been a big fan of the Dairy Queen fries. I used to, Briar. I haven't watched it in a long time, though. Uh, maybe, Darlene. I haven't really played the Hunter Classic in a long time. Kind of, uh, fell out of having really any interest in Classic, as we've got Way of the Hunter now, and... If I'm gonna play like a slower play a pace hunting game, I'd rather play Way of the Hunter. I think really the only thing I would return to Classic for is non-typicals. Because I do occasionally get the, the urge to chase after some non-typicals, so... If you see another Classic video on the channel, it's either gonna be that or some type of like new- Oh! Hello there. That's a light brown turkey. Level three. Not rare, but still cool. That should be pretty much a guaranteed diamond as well. I uh, know I don't use a backpack. I don't use backpacks. I don't recommend anybody use them, to be honest. Because they scare everything off from like an extra 30 meters. Shush. 
We're not after you, Sika Deer. We got a turkey right here. Look at that. Well, this was a good idea to go to uh, Tiabaroa and hunt around for some feral pigs because we got ourselves a uh, diamond light brown turkey. That's pretty cool. Not bad at all. I miss when these things were rares. I miss when the light brown turkey were considered a rare. Feels bad, man. Still awesome to get, though. First diamond of the day, and it's not a feral pig, sadly. Yeah, Justin, you did. You joined at the perfect time, man. Hope you've been doing good, man. I mean, pretty much just doing what I'm doing now is how I got most of my diamond turkeys, uh, packers. Diamond turkeys are something that I always get while hunting for other things. Like, nine times out of ten, that's how I get a diamond turkey. It's just by hunting for something else on a map that has turkeys and then I randomly stumble across them. Also, how did you guys enjoy today's video on the Eurasian Widgeons in Verhonga Savannah? I had quite a bit of fun doing it. It's uh, something that I didn't expect to be as good as it is, but they're actually pretty insane on Verhonga. I think it is the best Widgeon map now. I think another thing that I would really like to do is uh, maybe make a video on Pronghorn in um, Rancho del Arroyo. Uh, yeah, Bart, there is. Uh, Revon Tuli Coast has the Eurasian Widgeon, and now Verhonga does as well. And I definitely think they're better on Verhonga from what I've been seeing from that uh, one hunt that I did. It felt like there was just more of them showing up than I had ever got on Rev. There we go. That is what we like to see. I don't even need to move this tent. It's in a great spot. Trendsetter confirmed. No. Watch. Nah. No, bull riding boy. That that's not the that's not how that works. Most likely you haven't found all your zones. Nine times out of ten, that's always the problem if your herd management isn't working, is that you haven't found all your zones and you don't have enough low levels on the map. That's literally the only reasons that it wouldn't be working. <laughs> yes, it's the, oh my God. Mason, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Still haven't had any luck with the whitetail. Great one, over 1,200 kills in. Ooh, that's rough, man. That's pretty rough. I'm sorry to hear that. Hopefully you'll get it soon. It can sometimes take a while. Um, most of my Whitetail Great Ones happen between 1 and 2,000 kills, with a couple being around, like, 3,500 to 4,000. So, there is some variance there, and it can take a while sometimes. Oh, ooh, smoking all of our stuff. Thank you, beavers. Oh, beavers are great. I love them. Phenomenal! You love the beavers! 
Necron, thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it. 4,600 into the Red Deer grind. Getting worried. Remember, Necron, with like maxed out herd management, I had two grinds take over 6,000. So it's not unheard of for it to take that long. You'll get it eventually, no matter what. Like, if you keep going, you will eventually get it. It's just a matter of when RNG is going to toss one at you. I believe in you, though. You got this. You got this. All right, let's check down here. I'm assuming pigs can be here. They used to be able to. <laughs> yes, it's the, oh my gosh. I don't really watch sports anymore, uh, Kalen. Watch them, but still not sure which levels to shoot. Wait, for what, Radical? I think I missed the first, um, like the previous message. I'm assuming that had a previous message with it as well. You're at 14k, Ben. Jeez, man. That's rough. That is rough. Ah, Red Deer Herd Management got you. Let me go up and read the re that message again. Okay, to simplify it as much as I can, Radical. Shoot level fives, five and above, until 70% of your map is four and below. That's essentially the quick way to explain it. If you'd like to, you can stack the diamonds to speed up the process, but it is not required. And that's essentially just the quick gist of it. 17k, Chope, that is insane. That is insane. Nobody really knows VIP. It's a hard thing to like pinpoint down and prove. All right, later, Elise. How do I get so many diamonds because I have, because you have none? Um. Well, a lot of it is herd management for some of the newer grinds that we've done. I have just under 2,000 diamonds, and I'd say about 1,400 or so of those. Well, actually, let me let me think. Five. Yeah, about 1,400 of those are from herd management. The other, like, five to 600 is from multiplayer hopping and doing single-player grinds and stuff like that. Over the course of 4,700 hours, so that's the big factor, is a lot of playtime. A lot of playtime understanding how the game works. And I'd say that really is the number one factor in determining how many diamonds you get, is just knowledge of the game. So the more you learn, the more you take note of and keep your eye on when you're playing, the or chances it'll benefit you in the long run. That's a whole lot of feral pigs right there. I'll tell you what. That's so many, I'm gonna have trouble shooting them all. I can tell this is gonna be a good zone. You know what? I don't wanna slap a tent right here. I feel like doing longer shots is better now with the spook range. Gotta take advantage of that like extra split second that you'll have before they dart off if you're taking long shots. Like, I don't know if we'll do 400 meters because sometimes they won't render in then if we uh, fast travel to the tent. Mason, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing great. Got lucky with the red deer. Only took me 200 kills to get the great one. That is insanely lucky. That is uh, virtually unheard of. I've only had two great ones take less than 200 kills. So that's insane. That is a quick one for sure. That should be good right there.
Where's that four? I want to take that one first. There it is. And there's a three right... Where is it? Yeah, three right there. Oh, he moved! Why, why would he do that? That's just silly. I guess the two is dying. Oh, he saved his buddy right there. Oh, oh, rough, rough, man. Out of render. Oof. Oh, got that one too, but not an amazing shot. And out of render. All right, then. Cold weather sucks. Yeah, it is icy cold pretty much everywhere right now. Oregon's super cold as well. We had a very cold day yesterday. Today as well. Today is even colder. What editing app do I use? I use Filmora 11. What time do feral pig drink? Three to six in the morning, uh, Hunter. Fifteen degrees. Ooh. Feels bad, Kathy. Gosh, why is that sound effect still here? That has been a bug ever since the release of this map. When you walk by this lake, you hear the sound of, like, a tent being taken down. But there's nothing being, like, taken down. Such a weird bug. I mean, we're on the way over. We might as well boop this fallow. Work towards some fallow rares as well. Uh, no, Kaylin. I, uh, live in Oregon. Hey, Pops Pistols, how's it going, man? It means no herd management, uh, Trig Hunts. Because uh, I put up a poll a few days ago and 65% of people wanted a no HM grind. So that is what we're doing with the feral pigs. I figured what a, what a better species to do it on than the feral pigs because they don't even have antlers, so... Might as well just smoke them all. Nice, Indo. On, I'm assuming you had a different message before then. Um, let's see. That's probably gonna be small rack, uh, Indo. I would imagine that's a small rack one. I don't think that would be mid rack. Go, thank you so much for renewing your membership, dude. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Hope you're doing good. What animals do I want Call of the Wild to add? Oh, there's a lot of them, but I, I guess some of my top ones would be the Pierre David's deer. Obviously, the big five is something everybody would love to see in the game. I'd like to see zebras. And then a bunch of exotic species. Like, I don't care what they are, just give us a bunch of exotic stuff. Okay, we got non-vitals on this one. It should have died pretty quick. Okay, I got a I got a question for you guys. What do you guys think 
The interest level would be in a video titled A True Texas Style Hunt and then do like a a hunt with the 308 on Rancho Del Arroyo for Javelina. Obviously it's not Texas, I know that, but it's the closest thing that we have to Texas in the game. I think it could be cool. A true Texas style AR hunt or something like that. I was hoping that four would be there, but nope. Now I imagine feral pigs, like I said, can probably be around the shore. Maybe up through here? They used to be able to. Hmm, you're right, Billy. That might be tough. Also, how's it going, Billy? He spawned a bear rest. Nice, Indo. That's awesome. Try to get Didi as a guest. Hey, I'm sure Didi would be down to do that. It's been a bit since I've talked to him. I might have to shoot him a message and see if he's uh, down to hop into another pig hunt. Also, somebody was telling me that I should try doing a deer drive in Way of the Hunter. Supposedly, it's really good. Somebody in the comments was telling me that the deer drives in Way of the Hunter are actually pretty close to real life deer drives. I'm level 60 bro sim and I've got just over what 12 and a half million? I had 14 million before the moose grind started and then blew a bunch of it on time resets. How do you level up fast? I recommend checking out my beginner series, uh, Connor. It's a series I've been doing on the channel recently and it details all the, all the tricks and tips for leveling up. I actually posted an episode like two days ago, two or three days ago, I believe. Yeah, three days ago is when I posted episode seven, but it's a series that should help you out quite a bit. Talks a lot about uh, gaining XP and money and stuff like that. How do you get that much money? 4,700 hours of playtime, Carson. That's how. And lots of grinds. Lots and lots of great one grinds. The biggest contributing factor to the cash that I have in game is 20,000 red deer kills. But as you can imagine, that's not something that happens overnight. It takes a long time. What's my favorite great one that I have? Um, I would say my favorite great one that I've killed. I don't know if if one of my moose great ones would have had a fur type it probably would have been my favorite but because it didn't I'd say either my super close tip to tip spread um drop tine great one whitetail or my 50 50 rack great one whitetail I liked that one a lot because it has half of the rack that I really have been trying to get Highly unethical amounts of red deer. Exactly, Necron. Exactly. Oh, you did, Billy? Probably because you've been seeing me get them so much. Like, I swear, I can't get away from that silly quad paddle great one. I don't want any more. <laughs> okay, I don't think there's really any pigs over here. I'm convinced there's no feral pigs along this uh, coastline anymore. Because we're already halfway through it and I feel like if there was, we would have seen at least one. Yeah, if, it, if the last one wasn't a common, it would have been better for sure.
Yeah, Davis, I'm feeling uh, much better. Still at the very tail end of this uh, flu bug, but doing better than I was. I had like a day of feeling super achy and weak and uh, having a pounding headache. And then the next day it was like I couldn't sit down for 20 minutes without having to head to the bathroom. And so I didn't stream. And then the day after that, it was kind of just like a headache and feeling kind of tired. And now today we're pretty much at the point where I don't really have anything left of this little bug. Ooh. I stand corrected. There is some on the coastline. There is indeed some on the coastline. Okay. Just way further than I thought they would be. No vitals somehow? It'll die. Eventually. Oh. Whoa, piggies. What's going on? I didn't see y'all. I didn't see these close ones. Holy. Okay, so I guess there's actually a lot of pigs here. Way more than I thought. That is crazy. Well, you know what that means? It's time for like a dual tent setup here. So we don't spook them off as easily. Oh, <laughs> yes, it's, oh my gosh. Uh, Cassie, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Hi, Crow. How's it going? Hope you're doing good. Hope things are going great for you. Let's just plop this down right there. Oh, I need to grab that. I almost went over there without grabbing another tent. What days do I stream? So typically I stream every day except for Saturday and Wednesday, but uh, because I was sick the last few days, that schedule got completely flipped around. And because of Christmas, I will be streaming both Christmas and Christmas Eve. Obviously not as long as normal because I'll be spending time with my family, but We'll still be trying to get a little bit of stream time in on both those days. Hey, Bobby, how's it going, man? Welcome. One ten. Got a gold albino wildebeest yesterday. Nice kid. Cool. That's awesome. What is my favorite Call of the Wild moment? I mean, the first one that comes to mind was the super rare moose. Like, I think my I think my reaction speaks for itself. That was the most shocking thing I've ever seen in my life, and so it's the it's the memory that sticks in my head the most. That and the uh, finding the melanistic pheasant in multiplayer; those are two of my most memorable moments. Both were just so unexpected. What the, what the bunnies? Silly rabbits. That's a turkey. Hey. Ow, oh, smoked him. Down he goes. I don't think we hit either of these pigs good. That's unfortunate. 
But it is what it is. Can't uh, win them all. There we go. Now we need to probably check over here as well. Where would these ones have gone? Okay, there's one. Oh, not even close, Dustin. We just started today. We are not even close to being set up on this grind. Got a long ways to go still. Right now we're just kind of figuring out where they even are located. I'm going to assume there's probably going to be some along this coast. This seems like it's going to be a likely area to find them. Uh, not sure, uh, Pops, not sure. I hope they fix it soon. Because it is quite a problem. Nicholas, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Much appreciated. Really appreciate it, man, as always. How can I tell if a moose is a troll? I usually just look at the antlers. There's some racks that always troll. There's others that sometimes make it. And then there's some that are guaranteed to make it. And it's just a matter of getting used to what each of those racks look like. Even I don't know all of them. Uh, it sounds like you're doing fine, Averick. If you've got those numbers, then you're doing fine. I'd say you're on the right track. Just keep doing what you're doing. It's bound to happen eventually. Big paddles are always a good sign. True. Indeed, they are. Big paddles with uh, nice looking brow tines. No, there is no great one pig and uh, please don't spam. There's only four great ones in the game. Moose, Red Deer, Whitetail, and Black Bear. Oh yeah, that's normal, Africa. Rares, there's no way to make them spawn more. Herd management does not affect them, so... Rares are something that is going to be... Hard to get no matter what. I mean, out of literally 20,000 red deer kills, I think I've only got like 40 or 50 rares. They are not easy to get at all. All right, guys, I actually have an idea. Let's switch up the strategy a little bit. Let's uh, try a little bit of Tiawaroa multiplayer hopping for pigs and see if we can find one. See if we can possibly find somebody that's at their time or... I mean, this guy's name is Piggy14404, right? Like, he's got to have diamond feral pigs on his map, right? 
That seems as likely of a diamond pig server as anything. Oh no, I haven't, Johnny. I'm, I had been planning to do this from the beginning. Because I've had so, mon so many times where I've been grinding in one or the other and then switched and that's when I ended up finding it, so... We'll spend a little bit of time, like, bouncing between some of the, like, zones throughout here. And seeing if we can just find some in multiplayer. What's my favorite great one? I would say the moose is probably the best one. But I also like the white tail quite a bit. Mainly because of how insane the antlers look. Is the sidearms pack worth it? I'd say it's worth it just for the 243 handgun. That thing's really good. What is this? One dark brown. Okay. We're going to be checking all the disturbed veg and everything. Seeing if we can find albinos. Biggest whitetail I've killed? I have killed a 635, a great one, whitetail. Biggest diamond was a 291, but they sadly can't reach that anymore. Random fallow deer coming through. Actually, I guess they had a zone here. Nice. Thank you, Tammy. I'm glad you enjoy them. Pro loves to dance with his mouse. Uh, hey, man. Like, sometimes I just gotta... Gotta start jamming, you know? Gotta have some fun. Rares for Moose are crazy hard to get. Have one rare and 450 kills. Um... How many do I have? I can't even remember. Uh, we've got the Mela on the map at the moment, plus the other Mela. One, two, three piebalds, I think, or is it two piebalds? I think it's two piebalds, and then one albino. So I have five rares in like 16 or 1700 kills. I'd say that's about normal. Nice, Tammy. Uh, no clue, uh, bro. I've never grinded mule deer with herd management. Never tried it before. You have two or three crown wildebeest? Nice, Johnny. I've still only got the two. Or do I have three? Maybe I've got three now. I don't know. I can't remember.
There's a pig. Level two, though. I know there used to be a bunch of feeding and resting zones, like, up through this area. I don't know if that's still a thing, but it used to be. Holy mallards! They're everywhere! Man, I'm still not used to seeing so many mallards everywhere on Tiawaroa. It's kind of cool. Albino and pink are rare. That's right, pink is rare now, isn't it? I had completely forgot about that. Yeah, Billy, that sounds about right. Good shotgun for class one animals. Ah, uh, the 12 gauge pump action is really nice. Nothing crazy for those turkeys. What's the chance of a squirrel getting added in? I can see it happening. It's a very highly requested species, and they're a really cool species that a lot of people would love to hunt, so I can see them doing it eventually. It's just a matter of when they decide is the time, I guess. I couldn't see them going too much longer without adding them, though. It's a very, very highly requested species. I mean, tons of people throughout the world have memories of, like, one of their first hunts being for something like squirrels or rabbits, so I would imagine eventually they'll add them. They're probably just trying to figure out the best way to do it. Oh, ah, yes, it's, oh my gosh. Parker, thank you so much for the super chat. Much appreciated. What time is best to hunt for pheasants? Uh, to be honest, any time. You can hunt pheasants, pheasants at any time of day. Because they don't have drink zones. They're just in feeding and resting zones. So, I would say just try hunting at a few different times and then whichever one works out best for you, use that. That is the way that I would recommend doing it. Guys, we are 197 subs away from 87,000. That is crazy. It seems like we were just celebrating 85k a couple days ago. Like, I don't even think it's been a week since we celebrated 85k. What are we hunting? We're hunting for feral pigs. Favorite artists or genres of music? I am very big into, like, underground uh, rap, as well as some of the mainstream rap rap also. And then for artists, uh, Cheddar is one of my favorites. Along with uh, people like uh, Zilakami, uh, Suicide Boys, Bones. And some of the more, like, mainstream ones, I would say... Probably... People like Young Thug, Lil Got It, Cochise, artists like that. Some of the more like fun, higher energy artists. And recently I've actually started to like a lot of Young Boy's music as well. I didn't used to like him at all, but some of his newer stuff isn't too bad. I 
I've heard a few Freddy Dread songs, yeah. Not a ton, but I've heard a few of them. Spotted fallow deer. Okay. Nah, not a big fan of country scriptic. Growing up, it was the only thing I was allowed to listen to, so I grew to hate it. That tends to be how things are. A lot of times, if you're if you're grown if you're growing up and you're only allowed to listen to one thing or only allowed to do one thing or not allowed to do something, you tend to go against it. And that's what happened with country music for me. I heard it so much throughout my childhood that I just grew to despise it. Uh, yeah, I know Comethazine. Comethazine's cool. I'd say there's like 15 or 20 songs that I like from him. Also, big fan of like some of the more like, uh, what's it called? The more like a uh, gangster drill style music. I like a lot of Fulio, um, Spinabends, Lil Dirk. And then some somewhat lesser known names like uh, Rob Banks, Uno the Activist, Lil Nar. And probably about 200 other artists. To be honest, I listened to like two to 300 different rap artists. Uh, there's just a massive amount of different people that I listen to. Yeah, me too, Billy. That's that's one of the big things for me. Is it, a lot of it does sound the same. I mean, you could argue the same for any genre, really, but. It's like, if I'm going to listen to something that sounds the same, I want to enjoy it. Yeah, not a fan of Drake, not going to lie. A lot of people like Drake. I don't get the hype. Drake's never seemed like an artist that should be as like widely known as he is. He's just, he doesn't have anything interesting to me. But I get it, he's got the mainstream like radio sound and that's obviously gonna become more popular than somebody like a uh, like Suicide Boys or Zillicami who has less like mainstream oh radio appeal. Oh so obviously somebody like that is going to obviously do better. Same with same with people like uh, French Montana and Nav. Like how are they so popular? That has always just blown my mind. They have some of the most basic music I've ever heard in my life. But they're wildly successful. It's crazy. Oh, I, I've heard a bazillion of them, Carter. My mom always listened to him. That was her favorite artist. Still is her favorite artist, I believe. Yeah, I can listen to most as well, Scriptic. Country's like the only genre where I don't really enjoy listening to it. Like, I can listen to rock and metal and uh, some dubstep and enjoy it, even though it's not my first, like, choice. But I can still, like, listen to it and not hate it. Nice, Theodore. Can Moose score above 300? Yes, they can. It's rare, but they can do it. Alright, Corny's right back at you, man.
Yeah, Necron. I missed a dono. Oh, I did. Briar, thank you so much for the donation. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much for the super chat. Aw, what a cute little fallow deer. We gotta take him. He's so adorable. Wish Whitetail had their old score values. Would have loved to have gotten that 290s plus. I know, right? I do miss those days. I miss the days of the 290 Whitetail. Exactly tragic. I mean, what else would you do, right? You gotta, you gotta boop it. Give it the boop so that it can go in your lodge. Well, it's not going in my lodge, but we can look at him. Yeah, I've heard of that guitar. I, I have heard a few people mention that little subgenre. And honestly, I think that is why, like, uh, in general, like, rap and hip-hop, one of the most popular genres across the world, because there is so many, uh, there's so many subgenres inside of the genre that vary from each other so greatly that you may not like um like let, let's say like more of the more like drugged out mumble rap but you may enjoy some like chill underground like lo-fi style with just some like a uh, basic basic lyrics over it or something or you may enjoy the lyrical stuff or you may enjoy something a little more r b sounding like there is so many like subgenres within rap that I think that's what makes it such a popular genre. I've heard a couple of his songs, uh, Soup, but not a not a massive fan in general. But I have heard a couple of his songs. Not too familiar with him though. Nice goat sounds good, man. Yeah, I don't get it either, Johnny. Literally, all they needed to do was just lower the diamond requirement without changing the rest of it, and it would have been great. All right, let's, uh, let's pop out of this one. Look for another one. Uh, I've heard of him. I've heard of Immortal Technique. It's been a long time since I've heard a song from him, though, so I don't 100% remember what he sounds like. Um, you know what? Let's go back to single player. Yeah, I've listened to Tyler. He's got a few songs I like. Let's go to a couple of the places we tented up at. Yeah, Juice is good, Charles. I didn't like a lot of his older stuff, but then I, I got into a couple of the projects that he did. The main one that I really liked was the uh, collab he did with Future. That was a good album. That was a good, good album. Future's another artist that I didn't like at first. For the longest time, I could not get into his music. I didn't understand why people liked him. And then, uh, I think it was his High on Life uh, album. That's my. That was my first first album where I was like, okay, I actually really like this. And then most of the stuff that he's released since then, I've enjoyed a good bit as well. Oh, Young Bands is another one that I feel like he doesn't get the credit he deserves. I enjoy his music a lot. I got good memories of listening to uh, bands when I first uh, got together with my wife. That was one of the first albums that we played after we started dating. And because it had just released, it was his newest album. I believe it was Misunderstood. Good album. 
But unfortunately, because of some like poor marketing and issues with controversy and labels and stuff, did not get as popular and as widespread as I thought he would have. Yeah, Lil Wayne's great, uh, Night Warrior. Wayne's good. You can't go wrong with Wayne. And I feel like a lot of the people that don't like him don't pay close enough attention to some of the bars that he has. Like, some of the stuff that he thinks up is, su is stuff that I would never be able to think of. Uh, yeah, Thomas, he is. Or no, he didn't make it, but he was on that song. I think that was a Josiah song. I think that song was by Josiah, and then... He was featured on it, I believe. His solo music is better than that feature, though. Yeah, it was a Josiah song. But yeah, that is, that is Bands. Highly recommend his Misunderstood album. That is a good project. But I feel like his downfall is just not having like a a good marketing team and strategy and stuff like his his most recent song I didn't even know it released until I was scrolling through YouTube and decided to uh, check on his page to see if he had done anything else and then it, it had been uploaded like three months ago or something and I was like oh he never even announced this and it's one of the better songs that he had released in years. And it featured future. You would expect that if it's got a future feature, that it would get promoted a lot more. But he, it didn't for some reason. So I see the feral pigs are going to be like the moose. Delayed in coming to the zones. Oh, actually, okay, okay. That's what we like to see a level four right there. We got a three right there. Nice, nice. If I'm forced to pick one Enzo, I'd have to pick Call of the Wild because it's got a lot more replayability at the moment, obviously, and I have to state this because some people don't, don't understand that I'm saying as of now, but I do think Way of the Hunter will grow as a game over the years and be, I do think it will be the better game in the future. But for some reason, when I say that Call of the Wild has more content right now, and that's why I pick it over Way of the Hunter, some people think, some people immediately will go to like, well, Way of the Hunter's new, and it's like, yes, I just said that. I just said as of now. But I feel like I have to make that clear every single time. Um, wait, which one is that, Carter? It sounds familiar, but I, I don't know if I've heard it. Trying to remember who uh, did that one. That would be insane, Johnny. Could you imagine that? Oh, I've heard it. I I've heard it, Carter, but I'm not really a Polo G fan. I've heard some of his stuff, not really, not really my style. He's a good rapper, but not really for me. That's the best way I can put it. I do not see 
anything. Where are they? Apparently, Necron, apparently. Why am I grinding a feral pig? Because I don't have a diamond one. Or an albino. And so we're seeing if we can get one. How are they not alert? Yes, silly feral pigs. To be honest, that might be one that we leave. That is a long run. Ah, uh, we could ATV. Uh, no, Johnny. I haven't been there yet, but I will at some point. I will get there at some point. Um, that game is Ultimate Hunting Steel Edge. But right now, we haven't really seen any gameplay for it, so... It's kind of up in the air as to whether or not it is going to be better. I think it's going to be a good hunting game, but I'm staying uh, cautiously, cautiously optimistic about it. But I hope it's really good. Oh, you did, Johnny? Yeah, we'll have to check it out then. Let's boop this guy. Hunter, really, bro? You gonna do that to me? <laughs> Overkill, but you know what? It is what it is. Sometimes you just gotta hit him with the overkill. What are some things you can do to make Call of the Wild fun again? Uh, set goals for yourself, Xander. Start up a grind, set goals for yourself, uh, create content on the game. Those are all different ways that you can uh, kick up some enjoyment again. Do something you haven't done in a long time in Call of the Wild. That's also a good way. You know, keep, keep some variety going. Hey, I don't want to hunt this zone yet. That is like filled up with pressure times a billion. So we'll go check this out. Feral pigs drink from three to six, Ender.
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Benson. Thank you so much, dude. Oh my gosh. That is ridiculous. I, I, I don't know what to say. Oh my gosh, man. Thank you so much. That is crazy. Thank you so much for that huge, massive super chat. That is unbelievable. <laughs> Thank you so much, dude. My gosh, round of applause. I better see you guys dropping those hype emotes if you're a member. You guys better drop a bunch of those hype emotes because this deserves all of them. Oh my gosh. I'm pretty sure I, I popped out an ATV and started walking. Oh my. Dude, that's crazy. Thank you so much. Wow. That is just insane. Cody, thank you so much for renewing your membership. Welcome back. Hope you've been doing good. Y'all are amazing, okay? Y'all are just amazing. Jeez. You know, make a fun videos if you had some viewers join you on some hunts or had some viewers invite you to their hunts and see what their maps and grinds are looking like. That type of thing's really tough to organize, uh, ya boy brutal. I would, but that type of stuff is very tough to organize. And I can't really invite viewers to join my hunts because I have no way of knowing if they would adhere to the guidelines that I set for my maps since I have a lot of grinds set up on my maps. Jeez. Hey, Lori, how's it going? Uh, yeah, and so I have. 0.5 away from diamond. That is unfortunate. Uh, Cam. Yeah, doves would be cool. Jeez, that is, <laughs> I still, I still just can't get over that. Oh my gosh. Benson coming in here and just like slapping crow with the with the super chat making me speechless. What's going on? Oh my Got a few feral pigs here couple nice fours Jeez. Well, let's drop this right here, I guess. Zach, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Merry Christmas, Crow. Thank you. Merry Christmas to you as well, dude. Merry Christmas to you as well. Jeez. Today's been a day. Today's been a day and I don't know how to react to it. Oh my gosh. The only thing that would make this day better is if we get an albino and a diamond for the feral pigs. Like isn't finished yet? Yeah, I'm just dropping it for now, Johnny. Just gotta drop one down in case something happens, like death by pig or something weird like that. 
I had a feeling there was probably some more. As typically, they're all around it. A super rare albino? Imagine. Imagine. One thirty, that's a big one. Unfortunate, Shannon. Did anything happen? I was making sure the pipes didn't freeze in my house. Um, we didn't really get anything crazy, uh, Carson. No big trophies yet. Thank you, Benson. I appreciate that. Once again, that is just so generous of you. I really don't even know what to say. Except for thank you. Thank you very much. Alright, there's some more feral pigs there. Got a random little turkey over there. Oh, actually, we did get one, uh... We did get one thing, Carson. We ended up getting a, uh... Diamond, uh, light brown turkey. That is the one thing that we did get today. Alright, let's try to smoke a couple of these. Thinking those two if we can? Alright, we got them both. Beautiful. You'll love to see it. Thank you, Deer Killer. I appreciate that, dude. I'm uh, not sure, AK-40. Not sure. Uh, what do you mean, uh, cool cuber? Not, not quite sure what you mean there. Oh, no, I don't. I don't play, uh, Forza Horizon. Negative five. Oh, gosh, desert. That's crazy. That is so cold. I'm in Tiawaroa, C2. Uh, yeah, Amanda, you missed a diamond light brown turkey. That's been the only thing so far. It's going good, Benson. It's going real good. Started off the day editing up today's video. And, uh, then... Just kind of relaxed for a little bit and then jumped on stream and... Been grinding the pigs since. It's been a solid chill day. Okay, so it looks like we only have two major zones here. I think what we can do is put our tent here. And then another tent right in the middle. Right there. This should be pretty good. There we go. Beautiful. Negative 45 wind chill. Oh no, Drone. That is... Ooh. That is wild. That is wild. That would be crazy, DRK. That would be crazy. I don't know if we'll get one of those, though, since we're not using herd management on this grind. Um, VODs are always on the channel, Yaxos. It, they'll always be on the channel. I used to put them to unlisted, but the recent ones I've been leaving on the channel. And even the unlisted ones can still be seen.
Negative five puzzle, geez. Mrs. Crow is in the building. Everybody say hello. And be on your best behavior, because Mrs. Crow is here. How many hours do I game a day? Quite a lot, Jonas. It, it depends on the day, but usually it's between like five to 10 on Call of the Wild, and then usually at least three or four hours on like other games. Because when you think about it, Call of the Wild, playing Call of the Wild is a job for me. It's also a game that I really enjoy playing, but it is kind of the game that I play for a living. So a lot of times I don't uh, play Call of the Wild as like my just chill for fun game. So a lot of times I'll play something like Seven Days to Die or Marauders or something like that afterwards. Once I get done with all my recording and streaming and editing for the day. And then I've got a few hours where I just kind of hang out with uh, my daughter and wife and do stuff around the house. Oh my gosh, Benson. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> Another one. Another one. Oh my gosh. What is going on? Oh my gosh. Holy dude. Thank you so much for that insane super sticker. Holy. That's crazy. Thank you so much, dude. Thank you so much. My gosh. That is crazy. Thank you so much. Scale of 1 to 10, how hard is it to get a great one? White Tone Layton doing the grind, doing a grind on it right now. I mean, any great one is going to be around a 10. Great ones are not uh, easy in general. I think we're too close. Yep. Now they're popping into render. Okay, I think they're all rendered in. This is a problem you run into sometimes. A lot of people think that they are spooked off whenever they're not at their zone like this. But you do have to just back up. You're right, I could, Johnny. I could use it to my advantage. Just kind of like, uh... Actually, you're right. That might be... Oh my gosh, we might have just figured out what the new meta is. We might have just discovered the new meta. Because you're right, Johnny. We could totally use that to our advantage. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about very shortly. So what you could do is when you first spawn in, there was only two pigs there that were rendered in. We could shoot those two pigs, and the rest that haven't rendered in would not be spooked. So then we could just keep backing up, wait for a couple more to pop in, shoot those, back up more, a couple more pop in, shoot those. I mean, we would have to put up like two or three tripod stands or keep running back to this one, but that could totally work. That could be a way to get around the spook range. That could totally be a way to get around the spook range. The spook range change. We got a level four to respawn. These pigs are not easy to hit sometimes. That is something I'm learning quickly.
Is that the 308? It is. That is the 308. Wait, where are those two that we just smoked? There they are. What map is this? This is Tiaroa Enzo. 76. And 89. Wasn't going to say anything about it because didn't want EW changing it. True, Johnny, true. <laughs> but to be fair, I'm sure they probably would be aware of that. It's probably something that they know about already since they designed it. All right, guys, I think we're going to hop off for the day. This was a little bit more of like a normal stream instead of one of our crazy grinding streams. Um, we will be hopefully back later tonight. I'm gonna talk to Kill Clinton. I don't know if he's doing any streams. I think he might be gone. Did he leave? I'm pretty sure he left for his uh, vacation, right? He already left? Okay. I kind of figured he did, but we might be back later tonight with another stream. We'll see. We will see. If not, then we will 100% be back tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. And I really appreciate you all being here. We will uh, be back later. Peace.